Okay, um, I'm going to talk about the death of Ben Carson's staffer here in Iowa, but I kind of want to recap a little bit here. So, I had just made a few videos on Obama going to Omaha the day after his State of the Union speech, and, th and then also the death of the former Nebraska Cornhusker Lawrence Phillips. And Lawrence Phillips was drafted to the St. Louis Rams, and the day after he died, the Los Angeles Rams moved to Los Angeles. So interesting, I talked about Obama here, Omaha, Nebraska is 109, he gave a speech in Baxter Arena that adds up to 109. It was also the same day uh, that the winning Powerball ticket went out, winning Powerball ticket 109, it was somebody in Chino Hills, 109, also Los Angeles where the Rams went, 109. And there's some other 109s that I've mentioned, even Kobe tore his Achilles at the Golden State game, and he came back in and shot two free throws and made the score 109 to 109. And I actually could, there's a lot more to that story as well, but Kobe Bryant really connects a lot to Philadelphia, even a former, uh, a native of Philadelphia and whatnot, and there's been a lot of Philadelphia uh, foreshadowing and whatnot this year. So, anyway, I also made a video, I talked about how on the Chiefs game when they played the Texans, there was this breaking news story in Omaha, um, and there was a fire at this old building. It was on 11th and Howard, it says here, but the original reporting was 11th and Harney. And there was a lot to do with the number 11, dealing with the Chiefs and whatnot, uh, especially connected to Alex Smith. But this building also caught on fire 111 years ago. Tons of stuff, but... Anyway, that was five days before Obama came to Omaha. Um, and it was also in downtown Omaha, or it's also referred to as the Old Market. So downtown Omaha equals 58 in Gematria. Old Market equals 99. Both numbers I just talked about with the Happy Gilmore stuff dealing with earthquakes and the foreshadowing of earthquakes. Uh, California even founded on 9, or it became a state, on 9 9 of 1850 Adam Sandler was born on September 9th 9 9 a ton of other stuff with it but gonna move on you can read through my posts or uh, go watch my other videos I actually do talk about that a lot so anyway another interesting thing about Omaha you have like Warren Buffett is a famous person from Omaha Warren Buffett equals 58 he's also 85 years old right now so what was interesting about this story was that it was at M's pub and they had ri originally reported that it was on Harney Street, which is just one street over. But Howard's even a 33 name. But anyway, Harney adds up to 71. The, the main building there was M's Pub. That's 71, just like Nebraska, 71. And I'm, there's been lots of connections to Super Bowl 50. Super Bowl 50 adds up to 71 as well. And I talked about the movie Teen Wolf that has Nebraska Cornhusker stuff in it. But yet it's not set in Nebraska. They have uh, calendars. There's even a license plate from Nebraska. It has nothing to do with Lincoln, Nebraska, though. They even have a Civil War scene in there. And uh, there's tons of Teen Wolf stuff that goes along with this. It's all connected to Lupercalia, the ancient Roman festival where they celebrate and sacrifice a wolf. And it goes, I noticed it, I started noticing this in the 2015 NBA All-Star Week. Uh when Zach Levine, who was a teen Minnesota Timberwolf, won the slam dunk contest doing the Space Jam dunk. And then also the day before, another teen Timberwolf, Andrew Wiggins, won the MVP of the Rising Star Challenge. So, And it was the NBA All-Star Game, or All-Star Week also happened. Uh, it fell on the same days as Lupercalia last year. But anyway, so we got Lincoln freed the slaves just like Moses. The Cornhuskers play in the Sea of Red. You know, Moses parted the Red Sea. But connecting to up here, Moses equals 71, just like the Ten Commandments. Super Bowl 50 is even played in Levi's Stadium. Moses was in the tribe of Levi. Also, before God spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai and, and he got the Ten Commandments, there was an earthquake. And when they crossed the Red Sea, they went to Midian, Midian equals 32 and 50, just like Kansas City Chiefs. So, 
interesting, but the word 32 even adds up to 50. Of course, Super Bowl, 50. So then, this guy, uh, his staffer, died the other day when it snowed. It didn't even really snow that much, but the roads were pretty bad. But we had this big article. It was a big deal. And I know, there, I know these are local stories, but they have a lot of significance into what I'm saying, so it's kind of strange. But anyway... The snow on Dodge Street had to, they had to br close the road down and bring in plows or whatever. Dodge Street in Omaha is like the center, the center high, or road, main road, like in the middle of Omaha pretty much. It even goes down into the old market and whatnot. So, interesting that they have this story. I just did Dodge Street in Gematria. It adds up to 122 and 50, just like San Francisco. Uh... Yeah, San Francisco is even 50 the small way. And then we, they're hosting Super Bowl 50. And then I just typed in snow because that was what the whole article was about. Snow equals 71, just like Super Bowl 50. So moral of the story here, we got the Ben Carson staffer dead and car accident story. And then CNN shows this video with Ben Carson talking about it. And I mean, look, Omaha, Nebraska equals 109. Look how long this video is. A minute nine. They they do that stuff all the time on purpose. So the guy who died was Braden Joplin. Interesting gematria of his name is 57 and 120. 57 an interesting number because if you write out the word 57, it adds up to 131. If you write out the word Super Bowl, it adds up to 131. Also, if you write Benjamin Carson, his full name there, Benjamin Carson. It adds up to 57, just like his staffer who died. Another interesting thing is the guy who died, his name, the big way, adds up to 120. And it all connects to Moses. According to this rabbinical Judaism, uh, it says that Moses even died in 1271 BCE, so another 71 reference at the age of 120. So this guy's name adds up to 120. Moses died at the age of 120. So, also, both of these names really stuck, stuck out to me, Joplin and Carson. Especially Carson in regards to the area where this guy died in a car wreck. But, I'll get to that in a second here. But, so, Braden Joplin dies on the same day that Janice Joplin would have turned 73 years old. So, his last name's Joplin, he dies on Janice Joplin's, which would have been 73rd birthday. She even died in Los Angeles. Los Angeles adds up to 129 began her music career in San Francisco. Also, on the Wikipedia page, it said she was ranked 46 on Rolling Stone's all-time greats. Omaha, Nebraska adds up to 46 the small way. And like I said, she would have been 73 years old. Sea of Red adds up to 37 and 73. Nebraska is the 37th state. Ben Carson adds up to 37. They wrecked in a van. Van equals 37. The story also said that the van was hit by a Chevy Avalanche. So just interesting, another weather-related weather name. And in Happy Gilmore, it was uh, Carl Weathers, who's the guy who plays Chubbs. He also plays Apollo, Apollo Creed in Rocky, which all ties back to Philadelphia and whatnot. But, um, so Avalanche equals 31, just like Joplin, too. And 31 is, was a really significant number in these NFL playoffs so far. So just pointing that out really quick. In regards to destruction and dealing with avalanche, uh, remember Joplin, Missouri, that had the giant tornado that wiped out the town or city or whatever it is? I even actually drove through that once, and it, it was pretty crazy. There was, like, houses down everywhere. And that was, like, a year after it. But anyway, Joplin, Missouri adds up to 73 even located on 37 degrees north. And the tornado destroyed it on May 22nd, 2011. If you add that up as a date, it adds up to 58, a number that I've noticed a lot with earthquake. I know this is a tornado, but just interesting that it adds up to 58. So maybe 58, maybe it goes along with other types of natural disaster destruction. I've just noticed it a lot with earthquake. I, don't, I haven't looked enough into it. Also on Wikipedia, they have this picture uh, with the Joplin, Missouri thing. And look, they, they show a picture of Obama with an 85-year-old man, the mirror of 58. 
The tornado also went across I-44, earthquake, the small way adds up to 44. Also, auto accident. This guy, Braden Joplin, died in an auto accident that adds up to 44. Remember, Obama's the 44th president. Tons of other stuff with that, but... Braden Joplin, he died on I-80 near Atlantic, Iowa. Interesting, Atlantic, Iowa equals 47 and 128. Just like Ben Carson Sr. He's, he's a senior, so Ben Carson Sr., 47, 128, just like Atlantic, Iowa. And I honestly just feel obligated to cover this, and I put this little map on here. So we got Omaha here, all this stuff here. I even work right here, and I live in this town. So interesting, you know, it's really close to where I live. Just felt like pointing that out, but, uh, and I mean, I work with a ton of people from Atlantic, Iowa, so. But what I think of the name Carson, all I can think about is Johnny Carson, because Johnny Carson is from this area. He was even born in Corning, Iowa. It was 50 minutes away from Atlantic. Um, but he also grew up in, I believe he grew up in Avoca. Like, he, he lived in a lot of these little towns around here. So Avoca, and then he moved to Norfolk, Nebraska, which is not real far away as well. So, anyway, oh, I even wrote that in here, but Norfolk equals 37. Uh, but Johnny Carson, before he got his, uh, before he was on The Tonight Show and all that, he worked for WOW in Omaha. It's like a radio station slash TV. I've only known it, known it as uh, radio, but I guess it's TV as well. But And he also died in Los Angeles. That adds up to 109. In regards to the tornado in Joplin, the last ep episode of The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson was on May 22nd as well. So the Joplin tornado was May 22nd. The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson was also on May 22nd. Exactly 19 years before the Joplin tornado. The 19 years reminds me a lot of Space Jam, but uh, I think I mentioned that here in a little bit as well. Also, I thought it was interesting. It talks about his life here, and his dad was a power company manager. I mean, that just really stuck out to me. We've had all this blackout stuff, the blackout in the uh, Super Bowl 47, the blackout at the White House on 4-7, the blackout during the World Series this year, then the power came back, back on with after the 47th pitch. Lots of 47 references. And then once again, you know, Ben Carson Sr., 47, Atlantic, Iowa, 47. Also, if you go back and watch, I think it probably, I think it was later in September, I talked about the Nebraska Cornhuskers and how there might be a, a blackout or a power outage or something along the lines of that, dealing with this nuclear power plant in Fort Calhoun that's just right outside of Omaha. It might even be on this map here. Yeah, Fort Calhoun and Omaha. Um, I thought maybe there might be something to do with that. It, of course, it never happened, but it doesn't mean that it's still not possible, you know. Maybe it just didn't happen when I thought it was going to happen. Because, I mean, they really are still foreshadowing Nebraska a whole bunch and a lot of things. So It was also what made me think of that was because of the Hotels.com commercial with all the blackout dates and they had the blackout lines, and it went to nuclear nuclear power plants and all kinds of other stuff. So if you go back and watch, I have a whole bunch of videos where I actually mention this, probably like 10 in a row or something. So It also reminds me of this cop here, Carrie of Roseco or whatever, that was supposedly murdered, and she's originally from this area. She's from Walnut. So Walnut right here, Avoca, Atlantic. They're all like right in this little area of southwest Iowa. So just interesting that uh, she would be from this same area as well. But uh, I'm going to end it right here. I'm going to make a part two. There's a whole bunch more I want to talk about that uh, ties into Batman and the death of the uh, guy from the Eagles. So uh, see you in part two.